The ideal situation for most NBA players is to be loved by everyone, but that's not always the case because certain actions or decisions can definitely bring a lot of hate, and hate that can follow a player around for their entire career. Now some people truly enjoy being in that villain role, but most of the time it's not where you want to end up. But unfortunately it's where these 8 players have. So these are the 8 most hated players in the NBA today. I did an all time video like this a while back, but we needed a current list so here it is starting with number 8, Dwight Howard. I'm not even too sure many people really expected to see Dwight Howard on this list because it's gotten to the point where it's become so easy to forget that he even plays in the league. But over the course of his career, the man's really took himself from being one of the most loved players in the league to one of the most hated. Now today, people don't hate him as much because everyone's really given up on him at this point. But that's the reason people started to hate him in the first place. Because even though that back surgery could have affected his game, he's been called out almost everywhere he's played for lack of effort and not caring about winning games. And it really started out on the magic when he would get criticized for smiling and joking around too much on the court. But really not too much could be said when he's averaging 22 and 14 and leading his team to the NBA Finals. But then when he goes to the Los Angeles Lakers with Kobe Bryant and Steve Nash, when even after his back surgery he was never a good fit on the team and his desire to win was questioned from day one by both Nash and Kobe. And fans quickly picked up on this and turned on Howard. So then he leaves to the Rockets where he, shockingly, never got along with James Harden, moved to his hometown team in Atlanta where Dennis Schroeder came out and said that he only really tried for about 4 games out of the year. And his teammates celebrated when he got traded. And then he goes to the Hornets where the locker room didn't like him, before ending up on the Wizards where he's been injured all year long. He could have easily redeemed himself after not fitting in with the Lakers and Kobe because sometimes teammates just really don't have chemistry. But seeing that none of his teammates have liked him since his Orlando days has made it clear that he's the problem and has made him one of the most hated players by fans and current players in the league today. Number 7, Lonzo Ball. Now Lonzo Ball really hasn't done anything to get himself hated because he honestly seems like one of the most humble and introverted young players in the league. But the perception that the media and LeVar Ball have given him is what's gotten him all the hate. And the lack of skill that Lonzo's shown early on doesn't help the situation either. Because when he was drafted, Magic Johnson came out and said that he was the new face of the franchise and he'll have a Lakers jersey retired one day. And then the man comes out putting up 10, 6, and 6 in his first two years in the league. So far, not nearly living up to the expectations people have for him. And then you got LeVar Ball going around, saying things like how Lonzo's a better player than LeBron James, and that he would leave the Lakers if they didn't sign both of his brothers. I mean, we all know that LeVar just says things to get his own name out there, but even though it's not Lonzo saying it, he still deserves to get any of the hate that comes to him for continuing to let his dad cause this drama around his career. And you really gotta believe that he played better on the court if it wasn't for all the distractions he causes. But we got this close to coming to an end when Lonzo cut ties with the Big Baller brand, but but sadly, he kept a good relationship with his father. Alright, that's a messed up sentence, but it's true. At least in terms of his basketball career. Number 6, Russell Westbrook. Some people love Russell Westbrook, and others have always hated him, and there's nothing that he or anyone else could do to ever change their minds. And that's due to the qualities that I've mentioned in a lot of other videos when Russ comes up. One of them is the fact that he's always had a cocky attitude on and off the court, regularly blows off reporters, pause, calls them out for stupid questions and disrespects them. Don't get me wrong, a lot of these men and women deserve it, but, but some people don't see it that way. On top of that, off the court, some of these outfits he wears are just made to get made fun of. And I think he knows that, hopefully. On the court though, we've talked plenty of times about Westbrook's problem of being inefficient, a ball hog, a stat patter, being too aggressive, and committing too many turnovers. And even his MVP season and his streak of triple doubles has really gotten him nearly as much hate as it has love. Russ has definitely come a long way since his first few years in the league, and this is definitely one of his best years ever. But deep down, his playstyle still has some of those basic problems, and he probably won't ever get that bad stigma off of him. Whether you love or hate Westbrook really comes down to your point of view on what makes an effective basketball player. Number 5, Draymond Green. Over the years, Draymond's come out and been the energy behind the Golden State Warriors, and even though he's had a bad year this year, he's really developed his game into having one of the most diverse skill sets in the league. But while he's developed those skills, he's also developed a reputation of being a dirty player, a walking technical foul, one of the best trash talkers on the court, and has become known for getting into other players' heads. 
Most fans hate him for these things, and he's so good at being hated, he can't even help but cause his own teammates to turn against him at times. But Draymond Green is really one of those guys who loves being in that role. And really every team needs a guy like him, because he can really get into the other team's best player's head, defend them just as well, and if that's not working it just takes one solid kick to the Number 4, Carmelo Anthony. Alright, I said only current players on the list, but this could very well be the last year that Melo was actually an active player, so we're including him. But it's crazy to see just how fast everyone turned on him. Because even though he gained a reputation as a ball hog, a bad defender, and was pretty much only known for his ability to score, in his early years on the Denver Nuggets and on the Knicks, he was still always a fan favorite. Now personally, I've never been a fan of Carmelo because of these reasons, and it wasn't up until these last few years that the majority of fans really really started to turn on him and feel the same way. And I think it started in 2014, when he had the opportunity to leave the New York Knicks in free agency, who he had really done nothing with, and go to a contending team for less money. The main rumored team, who had given him the best offer, was the Chicago Bulls, who had the opportunity to bring his offense to the Derrick Rose, Jimmy Butler, Joe Kim Noah led defensive minded Bulls team, whose one weakness was always that they needed more scoring. But instead, at 30 years old, he stayed on the Knicks for the bigger contract and made it clear that he was in it for the money. Now don't get me wrong, staying on the Knicks landed him 30 million more dollars and I would have taken that in a heartbeat. But it made the fans lose respect for him. And on top of that, the fact that he couldn't help the Knicks to the playoffs for the rest of his three years there didn't help. And then he got moved to OKC, where he clearly made the team worse, laughed at the idea of coming off the bench, and then blamed the Thunder when he didn't fit on the team. Which all those things really showed his ego to the public eye. And this was the point that fans and media had really started to turn on Melo. And we quickly learned that it was for good reason, when he only lasted 10 games on the Houston Rockets too. Number 3, DeMarcus Cousins. Cousins never had a great reputation in the league. I mean, even in college, but more so while he was on the Kings, he was known as a guy who had a bad attitude and couldn't keep himself out of trouble on and off the court. Like his countless amount of technicals and ejections, his bad relationship with coaches, criticizing commentators, and punching other players. But that did all start to turn around when he was traded to the New Orleans Pelicans and teamed up with Anthony Davis. It seemed like his attitude problem had cooled down and he was starting to gain people's respect. But after he tore his Achilles and joined the stacked Golden State Warriors on a $5 million contract, abandoning Anthony Davis who had just wore his jersey in the All-Star game to honor him, he instantly became one of the most hated players in the league. But a lot has come out since then to make all this heat seem premature, like the fact that the Warriors were really the only team to offer him a contract because of the severity of his injury, and the fact that he said he knew AD was going to request a trade after he saw how the Pelicans treated his own situation. Which tells us and makes it clear that they showed no interest in re-signing him after his injury. So he really might not be deserving of all this hate after all, but there's still that bad stigma around him from before we knew all the details. Number 2, LeBron James. No matter what has gone on this year, LeBron has still had one of the best careers we've ever seen. And that's definitely played a part in some of the hate he's gotten over the years. And we'll get into that. But the hate really started when he made the decision to join the Miami Heat. And there were a ton of things wrong here. The first was that he nationally televised his free agency decision without telling the Cavs what he was really doing ahead of time. The second was that he was joining the Miami Heat and two other stars in Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, creating the super team era. Something he still catches a lot of heat for today. And then the third was of course the infamous welcome party, which in itself was just a flat out bad move. Followed up by James coming out and saying that they would win 8 NBA championships together. And this really set himself and the team up as the villains of the league for his entire 4 years there. It really was the entire NBA against the Miami Heat. And anyone that wasn't a Heat fan hated when the team succeeded but loved when they lost. His Le GM status didn't help any, fans roasted the man during the cramp. It made things worse for him when he missed a game winner and Ray Allen made his, and fans loved seeing him lose in the finals twice. And then he'd return to Cleveland. And if he wasn't already making enough fans angry, it got worse when the comparisons and rankings between himself, MJ, and Kobe Bryant came to light, and when people made their arguments for why he was better than the both of them. But then he really gained a great amount of respect back after beating the Warriors in the 2016 NBA Finals. 
but lost it right back after getting swept this past year. And we're not even going to get into this year. But we will say that being so great has put a spotlight on LeBron. And he's made a lot of bad choices, or underperformed in big moments, which have caused him to be one of the most hated players in the NBA today. He's still loved by many, but for every fan there's just as many haters. Number 1, Kevin Durant. This one's obvious. Not only did he make one of the worst moves in NBA history, but the man made burner accounts to defend himself. It was bad enough that he joined the best team in the league, but even worse that he really doesn't think he did anything wrong. We've known every year he's been there that they're gonna win the NBA Finals, and they're still by far the favorites to win this year. So KD deserves every bit of hate he's gotten over the years, and his time with Golden State will always leave an asterisk by his name for the rest of his career. Fans hate him, and right now Durant even feels that people inside the NBA hate him, which is the reason he feels he's never been considered for the Defensive Player of the Year award. So at this point, he's definitely the most hated player in the league by everyone. Now if in some insane turn of events, he does end up re-signing with the Warriors, I think that's when people really just stop watching the NBA. But thankfully, I think he definitely is leaving the team. And if he is, that means that the Warriors cannot win the championship this year. Because we cannot have the super team come in, 3 Pete, and then just break up. We need someone this year to end their streak before they all go their separate ways. So, some, so someone needs to step up and knock them out of the playoffs this year. And comment down below if you guys agree with that and this list. I think these 8 guys are definitely the most hated in the league, but let me know if there's anyone I might have missed. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next video.